imagine with me, you're at the top of a mountain, minus 29 degrees, competitors everywhere. You get to the start block, you strap your helmet on, there with your teammates, getting ready to push a 500-pound machine down an icy mountain, going 80 miles an hour with no seatbelts. It's a crazy, crazy ride. My friends, that is bobsled. And I had the unique opportunity to represent the United States of America on the Olympic bobsled team to wear the red, white, and blue. I mean, to be a small part of the athlete delegation to compete on the world's greatest stage athletically, it was unbelievable. But it didn't start there. See, I have a professional football background. At 22 years old, I entered the NFL. I signed my first deal with the Buffalo Bills. Got some Bills fans in here today. <laughs> I get to Buffalo, and I get cut. Next year, I get picked up by the Green Bay Packers. We got any Packer fans in here today? We got a couple. I'm in Green Bay a little bit longer, but I get cut again. Agent Cole says, Johnny, I can't find a team in the NFL. I'm sending you north to the Canadian Football League. Did you know they played football in Canada? <laughs> I had no idea. I go to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. <laughs> we got some Rider fans in here today. I like it. And so I'm in Saskatchewan. I make the team. I earn a starting spot on the roster. I'm getting great film. It's only a matter of time before my agent gets me back on track. I score my first professional football touchdown. I mean, to cross that end zone as a pro football player, it was unbelievable. And then one week later, I blow out my knee, torn ACL. And shortly after that, I was cut again. See, when things get tough, and they do, you and I know this, how do you give more? And so when I think of plus, when I think of in addition, when I think of giving more, what does that look like in real life? What does that look like in your life? And so I'm going to walk us through four foundational truths when it comes to giving more, regardless of your background, regardless of your personality, regardless of your belief system. See, it all begins with a decision. There's always a decision. A decision has to be made. Are you all in or are you not? We can't have one foot in, one foot out. If it goes well, I'm part of the team. If it doesn't, see, I told you. We have to be all in. Now, here's a reality. Can you get through life with never making a big decision? Unfortunately, my friends, the answer to that question is yes, but you will never reach your full potential. And see, if you struggle with commitment, this is a very tough step. But if you want to give more in life, especially during tough times, a decision has to be made. Are you all in? Because what you're going to find is once you make a decision, oh, there is a price to pay. Oh, there's a price. Doesn't have to be financial. I guess it could be. Doesn't have to be. You know, it was interesting. A lot of people don't know this, but uh, Olympic sports in the United States, they are all self-funded. And so when I go out and say, I'm a Texas bobsledder, they say, what in the world is that? And I remember after my first race in the bobsled, I go up to the guys and said, hey, uh, uh, when do we get our checks? No checks? And you want me to do this for four years? See, there's a price to pay to giving more. Again, it doesn't have to be financial. Maybe the price is getting off an isolated island and learning how to collaborate as a productive team member. Maybe that's the price. And see, this is where we lose a couple people. 
right? Because when we make a decision, we're all in. We've got company wristbands. We've got a hashtag. Everybody's wearing the shirt. And then we see there's a cost associated with it. And we lose a couple people here. Because once you pay that price, there is always pain. Doesn't have to be physical pain. I guess it could be. You know, in bobsled, when you take this 500-pound machine down this mountain 80 miles an hour, we wear these Kevlar vests for safety. I've had eight crashes in my career. I don't want any more crashes. They do not feel good. But after getting up the ninth time, I became a United States Olympian. See, there's going to be pain involved in your journey to giving more. I don't know what that is for you. But here's where we lose a lot of people. Because it hurts. See, it gets too tough. Not knowing that we were on a linear progression of giving more. Because at the end, there is always a reward. Always. See, it might not come when you anticipate. Right? It, it, it might not come the way you think it's going to come. But at the end, there is always a reward. But here's the catch. See, when I made the switch from pro football to Olympic sports and Olympic sports to business, there's a catch in life to giving more. There's a, what I like to call a daily battle that we all face. Every single morning, there is a daily battle, and it does not go away. As a matter of fact, you will fight this daily battle every breath of your life until you take your last breath. Any guesses on what this daily battle is? What we face every single day. Here it is. Here's what we face. We face comparison versus contentment. Right? Comparison says, well, if I, if I look at everybody else and what everybody else has, then maybe I could get the job done. See, comparison looks at everybody else. Where a healthy form of contentment finds a way to get the job done. A healthy form of contentment is not complacency. A healthy form of contentment is not laziness. A healthy form of contentment gives more to get the job done. And when I was in the NFL, I lost a lot of days to this battle. I lost a lot of days to comparison. I mean, maybe if I was four inches taller, I could have played longer. Uh, maybe if I had a bigger named agent, I could have played longer. Maybe if I went to a bigger university, I could have played longer. See, I, I wasted a lot of days to comparison. Or when I made the switch to Olympic sports, I was not perfect, but I started winning more these days with this healthy form of contentment. See, the ideal bobsledder, if you could chisel the ideal bobsledder in the Olympic Games, they're 6'3", 235 pounds. I'm 5'11", and 7 8 and I'm 220, but I'm going to find a way to get the job done. And here's the thing about this daily battle, is that it doesn't matter where you live. See, it doesn't matter what you drive. It doesn't matter where you vacation. Every single morning when you get out of bed, you get to choose. Am I going to walk in comparison today or a healthy form of contentment? And that's a choice. You know, it's interesting, these concepts of, of making a decision, paying the price, right? There's going to be pain, a reward's involved. See, what happens is sometimes we put up these fences, and, and these fences of what I like to call pride. These fences creep up and say, wait a second, that's an interesting concept, but you don't know me. Uh, you don't know my background. Uh, you don't know what I've experienced before. And so... There's no room for change. We have this pride that doesn't want us to change. 
But so let me ask you this question. If you're a parent in here, I already know the answer. Would you lay your life down for your child? As a matter of fact, you would. I know that. You know that. We all know that. So let me get this straight. You would lay your life down for your child, but you wouldn't change for your child? See, every morning when you get out of bed, I'm not asking you to lay down your life. I'm asking you to change for more. For your children, for this next generation, for the people that you do life with. You know, every day in the NFL and and CFL, I didn't know if I was getting cut or going home. I didn't know what it was. Every day was different. But today, I am a United States Olympian. I don't know where you're at today, but what I do know is that tomorrow can look different. And my friends, I've got some wonderful news. You get to choose, and that choice is giving more. Thank you so much for your time. 